Good afternoon, Namaskar. I, Kriti Bahera, would like to welcome all the teachers, learners, educators, students to CIET and CRT's live phone in program. And you are watching us live on PME with their channel number nine. This session is going to be for standard nine students. Mathematics is the subject which we will be discussing in this particular session. And the expert who is joining us today for this session, I would like to introduce uh, Mrs. Usha Pillai. She is from Campion School, Bhopal. We welcome you, Mrs. Pillai, for today's live interaction program. Thank you. Good afternoon. And before we start with the session today on polynomials, it's going to be a follow-up session. We have taken two earlier sessions with Ms. Pillai for this chapter. Uh, we will be discussing polynomials in detail for you viewers. And before we start with this, I would like to remind you here, if you have any questions, any queries, then please do let us know. You can dial on our toll-free number. Number would be 8800440559. If you wish to watch the live streaming of this program, then kindly log to our official YouTube channel, which is NCRT official, and they're also in the live chat box. You may send all your suggestions and questions to us. Uh, you can also send your suggestions and questions to dts.class9 at the ciet.nic.in. So these are the various mediums through which you can send your suggestions and questions to us. We will be discussing all of them with our expert. So let's begin with uh, this session on polynomials. I welcome you again, Mrs. Pillay. So, in the last afternoon, all of you, last session, we have studied about remainder theorem and factor theorem from polynomials. Already, I explained this. Replication of that part, what is remainder theorem? Remainder theorem means a polynomial which has a degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a. Then the remainder is p of plus a. This is remainder theorem. Suppose the remainder is 0, then we can say x minus a is a factor of the given polynomial. That is factor theorem. In second case, we can say if x minus a is a factor of the given polynomial, we can say the remainder is equal to 0. This we can use for finding out unknown values given in a polynomial. So by using these two theorems, we can do two more questions. Last, day we, last session, we I explained so many type of questions. Now, here is the question. If the polynomials ax cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 4 and x cubed minus 4x plus a leave the same remainder when divided by x minus 3, find the value of a. Here in this question, we are given two polynomials, cubic polynomials. And we are dividing it by a linear polynomial x minus 3. Then, and we are given same remainder both leaves. So how to find it? For that, first we are taking this first polynomial as p of x equal to ax cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 4. We can use remainder theorem here. When we use remainder theorem, we can put the 0 of x minus 3. 0 of x minus 3 is plus 3. That is p of 3 equal to. In place of x, we are substituting value 3. So a into 3 cube plus 4 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 minus 4. We got the value as 27a plus 36 plus 9 minus 4. That is the remainder in the first case is 27a plus 41. Now we are given another polynomial and we divide this also by x minus 3. So we can take this polynomial as f of x equal to x cube minus 4x plus a. Now by the same theorem we can find the remainder. We got f of 3 equal to 3 cube minus 4 into 3 plus a. That is 27 minus 12 plus a. 3 cube is 3 into 3 into 3. That is 27. 4 into 3 is 12. That is 15 plus a. In the question we are given, in both cases, remainders are equal. So, we can equate these remainders, that is, p of 3 equal to f of 3. When we equate this, we got 27a plus 41 equal to 15 plus a. Now, like terms on one side, 27a minus a equal to 27a and 15 minus 41 equal to minus 26. So, we can say a equal to minus 26 upon 26 is minus 1. In this way, we can use remainder theorem. Now in the next part, 
we can use factor theorem to solve this question. If both x minus 2 and x minus 1 by 2 are factors of the polynomial f of x equal to p of x square plus 5x plus r, show that p is equal to r. Here, <coughs> first we are given x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. So, by using factor theorem, we can say f of plus 2 equal to 0. If x minus 2 is given, 0 of x minus 2 is x is equal to plus 2. We substitute the value of x as 2. Then we get p into 2 square plus 5 into 2 plus r equal to 0. That is 4p plus 10 plus r equal to 0. This is the first part. Now, in the second case, we are given x minus 1 by 2 is a factor of f of x. So, we can put the value of x as f 10 by 2, that is, remainder equal to 0. We can substitute the value p into 1 by 2 whole square plus 5 plus 5 into 1 by 2 plus r equal to 0. Now, we can take the LCM of the denominators here, f on 4 plus 5 by 2 plus r equal to 0. So, LCM is 4 into 2, 8. So, we can take the equivalent fractions that is p plus 2, 2 into 5 is 10 plus 4 into r is 4r equal to 4 into 0 is 0. So, the second part is also here. In both part, we are given RHS are 0. So, we can equate the LHS that is 4p plus 10 plus r equal to this one p plus 10 plus 4r. When we are taking like terms on one side, n and 10 is cancelled. In both cases, n plus 10 is given that will cancel. So, 4p minus p equal to 4r minus r, that is 3p equal to 3r. Hence, we can say p is equal to r. In this way, we can solve so many types of questions. Now, here, a new part is starting, that is algebraic identities. Already you have studied about algebraic identities in 8th class. Here, some of the identities are given. First four identities we have already studied in the last year. That is, first one is a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. That is a plus b into a plus b can be written as a plus b the whole square. You have already studied how to multiply a binomial by a binomial last year. By that way, we learn how to find the this prove the identity also. Here, the second one is a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. And the third one is a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. Fourth is x plus a into x plus b is x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. All these four identities you have learned last year. And also, we are solved so many questions by applying these identities. And we are learned some factorization also by using these identities. Now, some more identities we have to learn in this year that are, first one is a plus b plus c the whole square. That is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. You can see 2 is common in these three terms, so we can write it as a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 bracket ab plus bc plus c. Now, the next one is a plus b the whole cube equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. Also, we can write it as in four sometime finding the product, we can use this identity after opening the bracket that is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square a plus 3ab square. In the same way, next identity is a minus b the whole cube. What is a minus b the whole cube? a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. When we are opening the bracket, we get a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now the remaining identities, mostly we can use for Factorizing the terms, if we are given in the term of cubes, a cube plus b cube, we can use this for factorizing it. That is a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. If a cube plus b cube is given first time is positive and here it is negative. Now, 
if you have an EQ minus PQ, we can write first term as minus A minus B in do A square plus AB plus B square. Now this is the last identity, AQ plus BQ plus CQ minus 3ABC equal to, in this form we are given, we can factorize it by A plus B plus C into A square plus B square plus C square minus AB minus BC minus CA. In this, suppose we are given A plus B plus C equal to 0. Then what will be the answer? If A plus B plus C is 0, RHS will be 0. 0 into this much is 0. When we are taking this 3ABC on right side, it will be positive. So we can say AQ plus BQ <coughs> plus uh, AQ plus BQ plus CQ equal to 3ABC. By using this, we can find the value so in the form of questions AQ plus BQ plus CQ. If C cubes are given, and if the sum of A, B, and C is 0, we can directly find the answer by multiplying 3 into A into B into C. Now, by applying these identities, we can solve some question. Using identities, find the product of first one is x plus 4 into x plus 5. Which identity we had to use? All of you know, last year you are learned to use this identity x plus a into x plus b. x plus a into x plus b kya hai? x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. So we can substitute the values here. Here in place of a we are given 4 and in place of b 5. So x square plus 4 plus 5 into x plus 4 into 5. That is x square plus 4 plus 5 is 9. x plus 4 into 5 is 20. Very easy. You can use this identity and solve this type of questions. If A and B are minus, we will put the value of A and B as minus here. In the next question, y square plus 3 by 2 into y square minus 3 by 2. Which identity we have to use? First of all, identity which you have to use. That is, y square and y square is same, 3 by 2, 3 by 2, but plus and minus is given. So the identity is a plus b into a minus b, that is equal to a square minus b square. So we can use a square minus b square as the answer, that is y square, the whole square, here a is y square, and b is 3 by 2. So y square, the whole square, minus 3 by 2, the whole square is y raised to 4 minus 3, 3 are 9, and 2, 2 are 4. So, I raised 4 minus 9 by 4 will be the answer. Now, the third part is 3x plus 4 into 3x minus 5. Here also we can use x plus a into x plus b. Here, a is 4 and b is minus 5. And x in place of x, we are given 3x. So, here x square is 3x whole square. Plus 4 minus 5 into 3x plus 4 into minus 5. That is... 3x the whole square is always uh, think about 3x the whole square. We have to put a bracket here because here we have to take 3 square into x square. That is 9x square. 4 minus 5 is minus 1. Minus into plus minus 3x. Plus 4 into minus 5 is minus 20. So we could answer as 9x square minus 3x minus 20. Next, find the product of 95 into 96. Here also we can write it as 100 minus 5 into 100 minus 4. Here also it is in the form x plus a into x plus b where a is minus 5 and b is minus 4. And in place of x we are given 100. So it is 100 square plus minus 5 plus minus 4 into 100 plus minus 4 into minus 5 into minus 4 that is. 10,000 minus 900 plus 20 is the answer 9,120. In this way, we can solve so many type of questions. The first one is 4y square minus 4y plus 1. Here we have to use identities already given in the question, we know. But when factorization is coming, we are thinking any common factor is given or not. Here we have not to think about that because we are using identities. How to choose the identity? First, we have to check 
which identity is given in this question that is 4 by square we can write as 2 by the whole square and here 1 can be written as 1 square so we can check 2 ab is given or not 2 into 2 by into 1 so a square minus 2 ab plus b square what is a square minus 2 ab plus b square we are already learned the identity a minus b the whole square so here a is 2 by and b is 1 so we can write it as 2 by minus 1 the whole square that is 2 by minus 1 into 2 by minus 1 but if factors are given we can multiply this in the form of factors we have to write this question is x is to 4 minus 81 here when question is giving, you will give factors completely. How can we factors completely? First, here it is in the form x square the whole square minus nine square. That is a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. That is x square plus 9 into x square minus 9. That is, first term we can write it as same. Second is x square minus 9 can be written as 3 square. So, once more we can factorize it. That is x square plus 9 into a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. That is x plus 3 into x minus 3. So, we are factorize it two times. In this way also, some of the questions can come. Now, the third part is x is to 4 minus 6 minus y always to 4. This we have studied last year. How to factorize this? Here also x square the whole square minus x minus y square the whole square. Now we can write a plus, a plus b into a minus b. That is x square plus x minus y the whole square into x square minus x minus y the whole square. Now if we are opening first way bracket x square plus a minus b the whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. That is x square plus y square minus 2ab. And in the second bracket, a square minus b square is given. So it is minus 2xy into x plus <coughs> x y. So First bracket 2x square plus y square minus 2x y and in second bracket x plus x is 2x minus y then x and x are cancelled so y is remaining. This is the factorization method we can use by uh, this identities we can solve. Next one is expand x plus 2y plus 4 is at the whole square. So here which identity we have to use? First, I told you we had to think about the identities. What is the identity you can have? First, we had to think about that a plus b plus c the whole square equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So here a is given as x, b is given as 2y, and c is 4z. So we can substitute the values x square. Plus 2 by the whole square plus c is 4 is at the whole square plus 2 into a into b 2 into x into 2y plus 2 into 2 y into 4 is at plus 2 into 4 is at into x that is x square 2 by the whole square is 4 by square 4 is at the whole square is 16 4 square is 16 is at square plus 2 to are 4 x by plus 2 to are 4 4 are 16 by z plus here 8 is an x. So we can use this identity and find the value of this. In the second question, 3a minus 7b minus c the whole square. Here you have a is positive and b and c are negative. So the same identity we are using, a square 3a the whole square plus b is minus 7b the whole square plus c is minus c the whole square plus 2 into a into b 3a into minus 7b plus 2 into minus 7b into minus c and <coughs> plus 2 into minus c into 3a. So here we got the answer as 9 is plus 7b 
okay minus 7 into minus 7 is plus 49 49 b square plus c square 2 into 3 6 into minus 7 is minus 42 ab plus 2 into minus 7 minus 14 into minus is plus bc plus 2 into minus c is minus 2 3 are 6 ac in this way we can find the product now by using the same identity how can we factorize 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy plus 4 root 2yz minus 8xz. Here we have to find a square b square c square. What is a, b and c? Here, in the first case, what is a? That is 2 into 2 is 4. But here it is 2 is given. This is the square root of 2. That is root 2. Root 2 into root 2 is 2. So, we can write it as minus root 2x, the whole square. How minus is coming? Listen here, all of you. Here, two terms are negative given. This one and the last term. Here, in both cases, x is common. You can see x is common. When x is common, that common term will become negative. So, we are taken x term as negative. So, minus root 2x, the whole square, plus y square, plus 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. And if 1, 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. So we can say 2 root 2 the whole square is 8. So we can write it as 2 root 2 z the whole square plus 2ab. That is 2 into minus root 2 x into y plus 2y into 2 root 2 z plus 2 into 2 root 2 z into minus root 2 x. X term we are taken as negative. So we are putting negative sign in each part. That is minus root 2x plus y plus 2 root 2z the whole square. We can write it in the product form. In factorization, always you have to write in the factor form, in the product form. That is when we are asking for the factors of 6, we are writing 2 into 3. Just like here also we have to write in the product form. Now the next case. Next question is 4a square plus 9b square plus 5c square minus 12ab minus 6 root 5bc plus 4 root 5c. Here we have to find the square root of a, b, and c. But 4a square is given. What is the square root of 4a? That is 2 is the whole square plus 9b square is given. So Evelyn, the, here I would like to request you to sum up yes. your presentation as we have another two minutes left for this session to be ended. Yes, yes. After this question. Yeah, sure. Now, the third term is 5c squared. That is, uh, root 5 into root 5 is 5. And root 5c, the whole square. Now, in the second term, how minus is coming? That is, we have minus in these two terms. And the common factor is b so we are kept minus sign into b so it is minus 3b the whole square plus 2 into 2a into minus 3b 2ab plus 2bc is 2 into minus 3b into root 5c plus 2 root 5c into 2a for so answer as 2a minus 3b plus root 5c the whole square that is 2a minus 3b plus root 5c into 2a minus 3b plus root 5c. In this way, algebraic expressions, that is polynomials. In any type of polynomials are given by using identities. Some cases we can factorize. Otherwise, when we are given a polynomial, we can factorize it by first check any common factor is given or not. Second, we can use identities. And third, we can split the middle term. We are learned last year by using middle term split also how to find the factors. So the next question is if a plus b plus c equal to 10 and a b plus b c plus c a equal to 5, find a square plus b square plus c square. Here also we can use the identity a plus b plus c, the whole square equal to 
a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into ab plus bc plus ca. Substituting the values, we got 10 square equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into 5. When we take the numbers on one side, 10 square is 100 minus 10 is a square plus b square plus c square. So the value of a square plus b square plus c square equal to 90. By substituting the values of these given terms, we can find the value of a square plus b square plus c square. Or if we are given other values, we can find a plus b plus c or a b plus b c plus c. With this, uh, I guess we have to sum up now. Uh, Ms. Pillay, if you wish to say something, because uh, we are done with it, we can uh, again take some follow-up session for this chapter. Yes, yes. Next part also, the remaining part we will do on the next part. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. The remaining parts will be discussed in next follow-up session, viewers. Uh, till then, keep watching uh, BME Vidya. And I really thank Ms. Pillay for joining us today for this particular session. Thank you, Mrs. Pillay, for joining us today. And coming with a social science topic for standardized students itself. Remain connected to PME with there. Thank you, Namaskar.